Okay, another math video from AlgebraTestHelper.com. And what I want to focus on in this particular video is to show you how to find the equation of a line given some information about, about the line. So for example, here, let's say I have a line that has a slope of 2 and also crosses to the point 3, 5. I'd like to know the equation of, that, that of a line that has those characteristics. And we'd like to write our equations in algebra using the point slope formula. That's that y equals mx plus b. So if you're not familiar with that, you might want to jump over to our site, algebratesthelper.com. We have a ton of information about lines and pretty much <laughs> everything algebra you can find it at our site. So for example, lines in this format could look like this. It could be like y equals 2x plus 7 or y equals negative 1 third x minus 2. So this number in front of the x is the slope. Okay, Of course we have that, m, m equals 2. And then this number b, Okay, these last numbers, is the y-intercept. So hopefully you're pretty familiar with that concept already. But let me give you um, kind of a graphical way we can imagine this problem. So let's say I have this xy plane. Just a quick sketch here. So I have uh, a line that passes at the point 3, 5. So let's say 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's say that's the point right there, 3, 5. So we have this line that passes through it. It has a slope of 2. Okay. So what we want to know, of course, once again, is what's the equation of a line written in this slope-intercept form. Okay, so really, really important that you understand how to do uh, these type of problems, and it's really easy. So what we're going to do is actually use the slope-intercept formula. I'm going to go and write it here, y equals mx plus b to find the equation of the line. So right off the bat, we already have the slope of the line, m equals 2. So we have this piece of information right there. In other words, we have y equals 2x plus, now, B is what we need to know. We don't know that part, but if we had the number here, then we're set. We, we're done. We know the equation of the line. So the objective is going to be to solve for B. So how can we solve for B? Well, what we're going to do is use this point here, 3, 5, to help us out. Now 3, actually let me just draw it this way. Remember this is an order pair. This is an x, y order pair here. Okay. So 3 is um, the x-coordinate, and then 5 is the y-coordinate. So 3, 5, we're going to plug that in to where this y and x is here in this uh, equation, or this formula, to solve for b. So right here, this y, we're going to plug in 5, and then this x right here, we're going to plug in 2. Okay, And you're going to see how this works. We'll, all, uh, we'll have a nice little easy formula to solve for b. So this would be 5 equals 2 times 3. Okay, so you can see that I'm getting the 3 and 5 information right here, plus b. So 5 is going to be equal to 6 plus b. And then I'm going to go ahead and subtract 6 from both sides. Let me give myself some more room here. 6 from both sides of the equation, and I get negative 1 is equal to b. And that's it, okay? Well, I mean, that's not entirely it, but we're, we're really, really close, right? So I want my equation in y equals mx plus b format. I already have m is being 2. Now I know b is equal to negative 1. So I can write the final answer, y equals 2x plus a negative 1 or minus 1, okay? And that's it. That's the equation of a line that has a slope of 2 and passes through the point 3, 5. Okay, so hopefully uh, um, this video helps you out. Uh, please come over to our site, algebratesthelper.com. Um, we have tons of free um, videos and other tutorials all designed to make math easy to learn. All right, so keep working hard, and we hope to see you soon.